The Wake County Animal Center is caring for five dogs recovered after Wendell Police arrested a dog trainer on animal cruelty charges. Thanks for joining us everyone, I'm Rod Carter. Since Tuesday's arrest, we have heard concerns from other dog owners who say they uh, use this same trainer services. CBS 17's Gilat Malamud is live for us in Raleigh and you had a chance to talk to Animal Services Director about the scale of this case. Yes, and she says the scale is larger than they expected. She says that several people have contacted them since Charisma Johnston's arrest. And she says that those stories are similar to the ones we told you about last night and the stories you're about to hear. Michelle Robison thought her golden doodle Remy died in the care of dog trainer Charisma Johnston, but says now. I, I genuinely don't know what happened to my dog. Robison says she's not sure what to believe ever since Wendell police arrested Johnston on five counts of animal cruelty charges. Robison says one day before she was supposed to pick Remy up from training in Tennessee, Johnston said Remy was in a car accident, the next day saying Remy did not survive. This was about one month ago. Robison says she has not received any ashes. This was my kids' family pet. This was their Christmas gift I'd gotten for them. I would worked really hard to get this for them. And now I had to tell my kids their dog is dead, and now their dog's possibly not dead. This is the second dog owner we spoke to who says Johnston told them their dog was hit by a car or in an accident and was cremated. Robison says Johnston told her she's mailing the ashes. She could be sending me ashes from the fire pit for all I know. Robison says her mother's dog was recovered in the arrest. Wake County Animal Services Director Dr. Jennifer Federico says the investigation began after Animal Control in Tennessee reached out to them. The five dogs are receiving treatment at the animal center. Some of them were definitely underweight. Most concerning was the puppy, very underweight um, and covered in feces. The kennels were covered in feces. These were not cared for or being cared for at the time. Deidre Peterson decided to pick up Rome from Johnston after she says animal control in Tennessee said he was severely underweight and had a leg injury. When, when I picked him up, I was devastated. And then when I saw his foot, he didn't wag his tail for a good week or seemed like he was happy. It was awful. She says she was too upset at the time to ask Johnston what happened and didn't realize the full extent until bringing Rome to the vet. He had chewed off his, one of his toes uh, and they found it in his stomach from the x-ray. Dr. Federico says anyone with information about Johnston or the dogs should reach out to them, even if they live in another state, as they're working with multiple counties. We're just trying to all work together at the end of the day to advocate for these dogs that obviously this is bigger than what we anticipated when we first got out there. We have the contact information for the animal control officer to reach out to up on our website, CBS17.com. We have made multiple attempts over the past few days to reach out to Johnston and ask her about all of this. We still have not heard back. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malamud, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you. We appreciate it.